Hello there, Macho Hill. Welcome back to me for Austria. My apologies for the slight lack of episodes recently. It's a combination of two things. One, I've been struggling, I think, to record the motivation to continue this because of how much work it is. And two, I got engaged. I was doing some stuff with my local registry office and various other things, which meant I've been a bit away and just not really been doing stuff. However, next week, there is going to be uh, some Leviathan content, so we need to decide what to do with this series, because obviously it won't work in the Leviathan patch, and there's some stuff I'd like to play in Leviathan, so we need to decide what we're going to be doing. But in the meantime, we're in a, a couple little conflicts. We are in Russia, and I'm kind of just letting people do that on their own, because for funsies, I've also got Great Britain and North... Newfoundland, I think. Yeah, just kind of chipping away there, right? That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Let's do this thing. Um, so, we want to... I mean, who else can I fight? Occupied Lake of the Woods. That's a beautiful country. So, it's almost there for Ming. The next truce expires... Uh, not for ages, man. I definitely did struggle with this series. I know I've had some uh, negative comments, some people who are not happy with the, the pace, the fact that I probably won't finish the series, and just some frustrations with me. And if that's you, I apologize. Um, but I want you to go in peace if you choose to never watch me again. <laughs> uh, um, I, it's okay. You know, I understand it's, sometimes it's frustrating to watch someone who doesn't... F oh, that was a weird noise. Who doesn't finish a series you're invested in and i totally get that however uh for me it's definitely been a stressful thing oh i just got austria prospers all right tax modifier imperial cap oh okay here we go missions imperial capitals our provincial capital reflects our positions of the pillar of strength coolsies Fenrag at the tier two sub thank you so much for choosing to resub again three months in a row Thank you very much, Fenrak. I appreciate that. You are awesome, dude. Thank you very much. I, I love you. I, I need to change my... I need to change my thing. So I really do appreciate that, Fenrak. Gotta name something after you. How about an Imperial Capital? Oh, IA growth. Can't have the Viennese waltz, though, because we are apparently running at a deficit. That is not true. Is not running a deficit. I'm not I'm not running a deficit. Why are you lying? It auto resubs, no skin off my back. Well, I still really do appreciate that, my friend. I, you know, it's uh the five the tier two, you know, it is it's a big commitment and I think it's real kind, you know. It might not sound like much, but it does it does make a big, big difference to, to me. Oh, there we go. Viennese waltz. Our capital must flourish. And we get Prestige and loyalty equilibrium. That's kind of dumb, to be honest. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to finish all these. And it doesn't even matter because there's only two missions I'm not going to be able to have. Wow, that really sucks. And if I don't do this, I have to have enacted revolutionary empire or revolutionary republic. Revolutionary ideas have removed from all provinces. Oh, tell you what, couldn't I just... Can I just change? No, I can't just change to Revolutionary Republic. I'm a fool! A fool! Yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, it makes a big difference. Oh, no. How do you actually get rid of Revolutionary Ideas? I never played the game long enough to really deal with it. I actually don't know. Revolution is fully present here. I actually don't know... How to deal with that. I mean, I feel like to a channel like yours, it doesn't get that many concurrent viewers. It matters more, so I try to step to smaller channels. I don't mean that as an insult. Oh, of course not. No, no, I'm a small streamer. For me, it's interesting because uh, I went through a period. Um, I mean, I've, I've gone through kind of cycles of Twitch of kind of like 40 views and 20 views and 10 views and 5 views and 40 views. And a big part of that is the more time I can dedicate to Twitch, the better my channel does. I mean, that's fair. That's obvious. But the thing is that I find that the only time I dedicate more time to Twitch is when I'm less happy. And the reason I think that is, is because I'm looking for external validation. 
I think for me, I'm just trying to see if there's anyone here I can beat up. I think for me, the problem is, is that Twitch becomes this... I enjoy it. I actually really like it. I like it my, my three a week. Sometimes sometimes when I get serious like this, they start to slog. Oh, look at that chunky Lithuania. Not good. Uh, it can sometimes slog, and it can be a, a little frustrating. But I, I really like it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy myself a great deal. Um, but when I really start to get committed, like, uh, so case in point, I, I quit my teaching job. I was a teacher uh, four years, five years back. I don't even remember how many years back now. And that's when I really threw myself into Twitch. I started collabing. I started doing stuff with everybody as much as I could. Oh, we should. Oh, kind of frozen there. Just set myself on autonomous. But yeah, I started collaborating and really streaming as much as I could. I mean, I think I probably streamed something like every single day. Like my, my partner would go off to work and I would just sit there and I stream from noon. You know, I'm guessing next time you play Austria, it'll be at E5. Exactly. U7, maybe. I actually have enjoyed this game so far. It's just the long-term feeling of stuff. Um, There's a therapy video, apparently. And I would stream so much, and I grew a ton because of that, and I was hitting pretty average 20 views, which for me at the time was really, really incredible because I was starting with almost nothing. But then once my life started fixing itself, or rather once I started to take steps to fix myself and really work on my mental health, I wanted to stream less and I wanted to spend more time with my partner um I mean previously I just didn't have the opportunity to spend the time with her Sucks. Oh, my thing but I found that the happier I am is the more time I spend with my partner but that also means much less streaming time right obviously single people just can stream as much as they freaking like and I did we did go through a period I think of kind of battling to find some kind of equilibrium for streams and honestly, I, I'd rather spend the time investing in myself. I know that sounds crazy because it's a source of revenue and it's a dream to be paid. You do, you do. Thank you, buddy. I really do appreciate that. More probably I couldn't teach it all. I need people to actually be interested in my. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. I struggled with the disciplinary aspect of it, man. It was awful. But once I started kind of working on myself and try and maintain that, why is it? going the muse why is it going doot doot when i do that what are you doing that oh. because i'm changing culture i literally never do that that's why i was able to get the mission reward um yeah i, I want to stream less so i i found this nice equilibrium where i can still stream i get content from my youtube channel which i enjoy in terms of revenue it's not much money at all like it's genuinely very little money i mean we're talking a few hundred bucks a year uh in terms of total cash and that's fine. You know, I have a couple of Patreon supporters. All told, you know, it's a small bit of change. It doesn't pay much. Um, I mean, if you do it hourly, my actual job, I, I, I have a much better hourly rate. But I don't really do it for that, I found. I, at one point, I really did. I, oh, I give me those claims, yeah. At one point, I really, really wanted to become a professional YouTuber, streamer, etc. God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at these rebels. Holy crap. Thank God I'm here. Oh, I gave them way too much to try and deal with. I'm so sorry, boys. I'm really sorry. Um, Yeah, I was really interested in trying to do that, and I just dedicated way too much time. Think of all the stuff I could have done. I didn't blow up, and that's fine. And I look at some of my friends who are YouTubers, and I don't think I like the idea of it. I like my, I like my living at the moment a lot more, frankly. I really do. I'm still going to be in the scene. I'm still going to be a YouTube dude. Go into conventions when possible when COVID's no longer a thing. But for now, I'm going to continue as I am. And I appreciate your support, Finric. Odin, you too. You know, you've been around a long time. It's I find it's the people who are around the longest as well. They just keep coming back and just being like, hey, what's up? Which tells me that I think we have created a nice little community here. Whoa, look at Delhi. They've eaten the remnants and they've exploded. Oh man, I wish I could convert this game into, um, yeah, yeah, if you could convert this game to, uh, Victoria 2, that'd be weird. Like, what would even happen? That'd be strange. Four or five, yeah, definitely four or five years ago. Long time. Captain Vincent Podbert of the Rue de Fier. Please, why did I say that? Like, French. Please of our prompt payments and good church's relationship has offered us an offer of service. He was to become a general in the service of the Austrian army. 
Thanks, but no thanks. Or... Okay. Okay, well, I, I didn't get a general, so I just paid money for nothing. Okay. There is a mod for it, but I don't know. It would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? There's not exactly a lot of independent nations in this game. Oh, that was the truce with Sindh, so I need to pay attention to that. Who will join this? Okay, Afghanistan will join. When's Afghanistan? 54, so that's fine. We'll just white piece them out. Chicks for free? Money for nothing? I love that song. What a good song. I love songs that are just conversations. Like, that are just normal words. It's great. Dealing, dealing with the rebels here. Peru is Audi. Brazil is almost up, actually. Almost up for some real spankings. Demands for representation. Ban them! We got a call for peace in the Russian imperialist war. Well, I mean, you're not completely conquered yet, so how about you shut up, alright? How about you be quiet? You are not fully mine. Ooh, a new colonial nation. I don't quite understand that, but it's going to be called Fenrak! Woo! Another Fen <laughs> We're going to call it Fenrak 44. It's Fenrak 43, there we go. I'm not quite sure why that happened. Oh, it's because I finished coring them and they're technically in the same colonial region, aren't they? Yes, they are. That technically is Brazil. <laughs> That's odd. Imagine trying to organize things either side of the literal Amazon. I mean, today, I guess it would be caught up for being hom homophobic. Ah, it's of its time, isn't it? Stream monsoon. Shh, nobody cares. I have a hundred million cash. That ain't, that ain't working. That's the way you do it. Sorry, okay, I'll stop. Let's get some, man. Let's get some. Uh, we've got some boys here doing some rebel stuff, which I don't appreciate. And yeah. Oh, we should give this to old Scotlandia. Considering they also have permanent claims on it. There you are. And I have this now, Melamado. Cool as is. That ain't working. Let's do it. Pretty good. Uh, what else can I take from these lur the lurds? Nerds. Oh man, we can take quite a lot actually. Why do I have troops all the way up here? What is the plan? What is the plan? Oh, Floridian North America. Florida is actually a free independent country. Oh my god. Can I just... Can I just take all this? Yeah, can I just... Can I just eat this, please? Is that cool? Can I just eat your entire freaking country? Am I- am I full annexing the UK? Is that their annexation? No, because I would like to annex them. What else does old Great Britain have? That's mine. Also, there's a constellation two workers as a group, not always, no. Exactly, yeah, they're- they're being douchebags, but that's alright. Hmm... I'm going to discover where else England might be. Are you in here? Do they have any other territory? I'm going crazy here. Because this is all Newfoundland. Yeah, man. This is all Newfoundland. Surely that's the annexation of Great Britain. Is there no way for me to just click through and ensure I get their complete annexation? Are they, are they colonizing something? Is that what it is? It might be colonizing something. Right. Gotta literally go across Canada. 
I don't think it would be any of this, surely. This is some of the first stuff you colonize. God, I played a lot of fucking EVO games. It's amazing how much you know of a game, do you know what I mean? Because I would actually get Newfoundland if I did this. Ah. There's no other bits of... Ah, there, there, there. Yep, there we go. Would result in their annexation. And there we are. There's no point doing that because they're my colonial nation. So that is... pretty much the entirety of it, isn't it? This this game allowed you to use Ribbon Networks to trade. I would think that would be really cool. Would result in Great Britain's annexation or vassalization. And there we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Great Britain. Goodbye. Oh, hello, Newfoundland. You're my friend now. That's all I really wanted to do. I just wanted to kill England. <laughs> I just wanted them to die. Just didn't want them to live anymore, guys. All right, that's all. Mission accomplished. We'll get him next time. Yeah, man, that went well. I'm happy with that. Um, and now it's just the Russian war. Oh, God, where's Novgorod? You know, this happens every time I play this. I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe this game isn't so bad. You know, we got some nice goals ahead of us. The things we could do. And then I get to this bit, and I'm like, oh, oh it hurts. <laughs> Having to, one by one, ward provinces. Oh. I think my next game is going to be a more specific game, you know. I'm going to be very specific in what I do. I'm not going to be going for any kind of <clears throat> weird stuff. Like, no, I'm going to be going for weird stuff, but I'm not going for any world conquests or anything like that, all right? No, 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 because this is just, this is not good, bro. I do not like this. Yeah, I do not like it at all. Ba, 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 ba. One French cure de Bois in the 1600s leave travel from French Canada down to Texas where he died all in Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, take all this. Give all this to Novgorod. Oh, I can handle that much. Good. Oh, there's like one more. Go on, just keep going. It's a hell of hell a journey, yeah. That'd be good. That's cool. Damn. Oh, I can get a little bit more tech. Oh, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. And there's the truce for Brazil. And whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Goodbye, Brazil. You suck. Alright, in the next episode, we'll be fighting, continuing our war with Brazil and Russia, and kind of tapering down the series to prepare for our glorious, glorious beginning of playing in the new DLC. I'm Al Dragantini TV, and let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see in the new DLC as well. Bye-bye.